ARPA stands for the Archaeological Resources Protection Act, which is the most comprehensive law that we have for safeguarding our archaeological and other cultural resources. Cultural resources are the physical remains of human, past human behavior. Um, they include things like artifacts, tools, houses, features, structures, um, and can even extend it to landscapes that were used in prehistoric times. Cultural resources are vitally important to understanding the national heritage um, and history of our country. Um, they're both associated with Native Americans and Euro-American populations um, that have settled different regions of the country through time. ARPA only involves archaeological objects, archaeological resources that are over 100 years old. But that doesn't mean that it's open season on anything younger than that because those things are still protected. They're just protected by other laws, theft of government property or, or something like that. So ARPA has uh, only application to things that are over 100 years old. Because cultural resources are a non-renewable resource, once they're deposited into the, into the ground, um, we can't uh, create new cultural resources in the sense, um, so we, they can never be replaced. And so a lot of people um, enjoy cultural resources and appreciate cultural resources, and we certainly want you to appreciate the resources that are on the lake, but we want you to um, leave them there for posterity. And so the most common mistake that um, you know visitors do is when they find cultural resources that they're so interested that they pick them up, they you know start playing with them, they handle them, they might even bring them back to the offices to show archaeologists or, or park staff. Um, it, even though we appreciate your enthusiasm, we would like you to leave those things in place for future generations. Um, there's different ways ARPA violations can look. They can be holes in the ground, so someone using tools, shovels, different kinds of hand tools to dig a hole in the ground. Um, sometimes it'll be covered up by, they can have a dog dig over their hole, or it could just be a dog digging. Um, stacks of rocks or piles of rocks where they're picking rocks up and they're stacking them together as they're sorting through things. Um, other ways ARPA violations could look is People at the old Marcus Town site um, flipping over the old sidewalks or old piping just kind of to look to see what's underneath there. You can find ARPA violations anywhere in the park, really. Uh, this place has been inhabited for over 9,000 years. There's been a lot of history that's been left behind and we're here to try to protect that history so we can learn from it better. You can be a good witness and report a crime by documenting everything that you see, writing it down. Um, call the proper authorities as soon as you can so we can start heading that way. You can get a clothing description of the person, what they're picking up and what they're putting it in, maybe a backpack or a bucket. Uh, get a description of that bucket or the backpack so we know where to look. If you see a vehicle in the area, write down a description of the vehicle and if you can, get a license plate. The removal of objects, the graffiti that we see, the um, desecration of our petroglyphs and pictographs are one of the most far-reaching and, and egregious acts that Americans can um, commit against the past and against the future because it robs not only us but our children and our grandchildren the opportunity to see these spectacular um, images from the past and to learn from them.